A key component under the hood of any vehicle is the belt tensioner. This seemingly simple device is often overlooked, but without it, vehicles cannot keep their belts tight and in place, and an out-of-operation tensioner equals an out-of-operation vehicle. Through years of testing and research, Kitmasters has discovered the common causes of failure in heavy-duty belt tensioners and developed a solution. There are several primary brands of heavy-duty belt tensioners, and they are all based on the same principle using spring pressure to apply tension to the belt. A belt tensioner consists of two working mechanisms, the spring housing and the pulley. The tensioner is mounted to the vehicle through the center of the spring housing. Once mounted, the spring housing is stationary, and when the pulley is moved, it is against the pressure of the spring. The pulley is swung over, the spring is compressed, and the belt is put into place. Then the pulley is released and the tensioner spring decompresses, causing the pulley to apply tension to the belt. Now, as the vehicle runs and the belt stretches, bounces, and vibrates, the belt tensioner will adjust to it, keeping consistent pressure on the belt to ensure that it stays in contact with all of the other pulleys that it comes in contact with. Through extensive research, Kitmasters has discovered that there are two common causes of failure in a traditional belt tensioner, spring failure and bearing failure. Kitmasters set out to find a solution for these common causes of failure and ended up redefining belt tensioners. Introducing Polyforce Belt Tensioners by Kitmasters. Let's take a look at how Polyforce Belt Tensioners solve the problem of traditional belt tensioners. The spring in a belt tensioner is designed to flex a specific distance while keeping a specific amount of pressure on the belt. While the vehicle is running, a tensioner can flex up to a billion times over 100,000 miles. While each individual flex doesn't damage the spring, there are only so many times that it can flex before it breaks. Imagine a piece of wire. If you bend the wire, you can then bend it back to its original shape. You can do this several times, but soon the wire begins to break down and eventually it will snap. A spring, while much stronger than a piece of wire, can only flex so many times before it wears down and breaks. This is called a fatigue failure. No single load causes the spring to fail. Instead, it fails due to too many repetitive loads. At Kitmasters, we thought if the spring is a common failure point in belt tensioners, why not remove the spring? And that's exactly what we did. In place of a spring, polyforce belt tensioners feature a polymer torsion core. This extremely durable core provides the appropriate amount of tension required from a belt tensioner, but will last longer than a spring. Other than the spring, the primary wearable component on a belt tensioner is the pulley bearing. These bearings are under constant stress as the pulley rotates, bounces, and vibrates along with the belt. The stress will eventually cause the bearing to wear down and fail. To extend the life of the pulley bearings in our polyforce belt tensioners, we have drastically improved the bearings themselves. The polyforce pulley bearings are specifically designed for use in a pulley application. They are designed for outer ring rotation, meaning that the inner race of the bearing is stationary while the outer race rotates with the pulley. They also feature anti-vibration grease, which won't separate when used in a high vibration application like a belt tensioner. The standard warranty provided on an OEM belt tensioner is one year, 100,000 miles. With the massive improvement in the pulley bearings, along with the exclusive polymer torsion core, polyforce belt tensioners are able to provide double the warranty of OEM tensioners, two years, 200,000 miles. Polyforce belt tensioners are available through three channels. Complete tensioners, shipped direct from the factory, the Polyforce in-store modular system, and the Polyforce mobile repair kit. The Polyforce in-store modular system allows a distributor to keep individual components on hand, giving them the ability to build the required belt tensioner on demand. This reduces the amount of inventory a distributor needs. The modular system consists of 14 different housing assemblies, six pulleys, and three arms. With this limited inventory, a distributor can now easily build nearly any heavy-duty belt tensioner on the market. 
simply look up the OEM part number in the Polyforce cross-reference guide or online at kitmasters.com to determine which components are required. The first step in the assembly process is attaching the arm to the housing. To do this, you'll need to know which side of the arm goes against which side of the housing. You'll notice that the arm is marked with a one side and a two side. You'll also notice that the housing is marked with an A side and a B side. In the cross-reference guide or online, you'll see a column called arm location. This column is used to determine which side should be facing each other. In this example, we see B1. That means that the one side of the arm should be against the B side of the housing. Once you have this determined, attach the arm using two socket head cap screws from the hardware kit that comes with the housing. Using the included Polyforce torque tool and a torque wrench, torque the bolts to 25 foot-pounds. The next step in the assembly is to attach the pulley to the arm by using the pulley bolt included in the hardware kit. Using the Polyforce torque tool and a torque wrench, torque the bolt to 25 foot-pounds. Now you'll need to install the index ring on the front of the housing. First, check the cross-reference guide or kitmasters.com to determine the correct placement of the index ring. In this example, the index ring placement is 26. This means that the arrow on the front of the housing should point to the 26 mark on the index ring. Simply set the index ring onto the housing at this point and install the retaining ring. Now check the cross-reference guide or kitmasters.com to determine which pin to use, the large or small, and the correct placement of the pin. In this example, we need the small pin and the placement shows F. Simply screw the pin into the hole in the index ring that is marked with an F and you're finished. You have a completely assembled, better than new belt tensioner. Kitmasters also offers a mobile version of the Polyforce modular system, which is ideal for mobile repair technicians. The Polyforce mobile repair kit comes with everything you need to assemble a belt tensioner on location, including all of the modular components and all of the required tools. Simply identify the tensioner, choose the correct components, and assemble on the spot. The Polyforce Mobile Repair Kit is an indispensable tool for mobile repair technicians.